So I think with that being said, we'll have the uh, match coming up in just a few moments here. The winner's final, Mark Foundry versus BB Forky. So both of these guys all set, ready to go. Level six. Here we go. And we got a nice little setup with the yellow, and we get tossed over the blues, and already we see on the left-hand side, uh, that would be Mark Foundry here, trying to set himself up for a couple of combos, and he goes ahead and does a couple of them, which sends a, ooh, that's a blue piece on top of yellow, but semi-convenient, but ooh, BB Porky has, uh, gets himself out of it, that's good right there. As Foundry now, oh, that yellow piece decides it wants to go right on top of the blue, where he already had two of them set up, but no big problem. Let's give him a couple of yellows to make life a little easier. And then there's some blues coming in the way as well. So you got to deal with this little junk here, and that can really mess with your mind as you're getting yourself all set and ready to go. Thankfully, these are early levels, so you don't have the problem of less room to deal with here. And so far, it looks like BB Forky's getting messed up a lot more by the falling pieces as opposed to Mark Foundry. He's got a lot of this play field already tackled, down to 10 viruses left to go in this level. He's got himself set up here to take care of all the junk right now, and all he has to do is mop up. And he'll claim this first uh, round. As BB Forky continuing to get some more junk, and that right hand side is not looking good for BB Forky. He is going to have to maybe look at doing some horizontal moves in order to get rid of some of those, uh, get them out of the way. Nice setup right there. Nice double there by Mark Foundry there, and tackles that. Sets himself up for maybe getting rid of the yellows. Decides not to do that. Use the blue to its full potential. As uh, BB Forky now has another red piece in the way of a blue that he's trying to set up. Worst thing here for Mark Foundry here was the fact that he had to wait for the yellow to move into place, but gets the blue. That's it. One game to nothing here for Mark Foundry. Made that look relatively easy in this first match. Let's see how the second of this goes. So we set ourselves up with another combo already immediately here. Uh, setting stuff up with BB Fork. He gets a yellow on top of the uh, red pill or red uh, virus, which doesn't necessarily help. And Mark Foundry gives it right back. So BB Forky trying to get things going and sees the yellow top fall right on top of the blue, but he's able to tackle that one a little easier. Uh, 23 viruses here for Mark Foundry, 20 to left to go for BB Forky. Kinda needs to win this one to keep himself comfortable, but unfortunately now with a three-way combo there, more junk for BB Forky to have to deal with. Yellow falling on, or rather red falling on top of a yellow piece, so Mark Foundry has to try to figure something out here. I'm surprised he's not opting to go with a red and try to tackle those two yellow pieces and get two viruses cleared in that spot right there, but he definitely knows what he's up to here. He's got himself a game plan. He's trying to get hit with some of the junk right now, and it's got to tackle that, but a nice combo right there. Both runners getting hit with the blue and yellow pieces falling down. That's becoming quite the mess right there for uh, Mr. Foundry. Gets a blue to fall on top of a stack of three yellows. Forky getting some nasty junk over here on the right-hand side, which is burying one of the blue viruses that he's going to have to take care of at some point. Nice combo there for BB Forky to have stuff fall down, but needs something to really mess with him. One main thing for BB Forky is that he wants to set himself up to get rid of that red virus. He goes ahead and does it. Nice combo right there. May try to see what we can't do here. Right now, has the edge in viruses remaining. Six viruses to eight remaining for Mark Foundry. No 
play to go here. He decides to put the blue pill on top of the uh, red. Gets that to go down for another nice sweet combo, and now it has himself free. He's going to be able to maybe tackle some of these viruses. Another case of junk falling in. No real problems, except for he did not get free on top of the blue, but he kind of had to uh, pick his battles at this point. So we're now running out of viruses here before he tried to tie things up. One game apiece. More junk coming in for BB Forky. Can Park Foundry close things out? That was a nice move, and he got it! Oh, beautiful move there at the end by Mark Foundry to take a 2-0 series lead. And set things up immediately for a double virus hit right there, which doesn't count as a combo, but uh, we get that now with a couple of uh, yellows coming down, or yellow and a red that came down at all the wrong places. More yellows coming down as Mark Foundry's trying to use the added drops coming on BB Forky's side to make things a little harder. He starts to tackle on viruses and BB Forky just playing cleanup mode because you really want to try to get some of these viruses down at this early stage. It's all about keeping things under manageable control. Get some more drunk falling down and really that was not a bad case of junk falling down right there. And everything works out. We get ourselves a three-way combo there from our foundry. And really the worst thing that just happened was the fact that the red fell down on top of a blue virus. That wasn't bad at all. But unfortunately, red falling on top of a yellow piece. Now a blue. Oh, that's bad for BB Forky. But a nice combo right there for Mark Foundry. He definitely has a huge lead at this point. 11 viruses to BB Forky's 21. Oh, that was a nice generous yellow that fell down by the junk right there. Even when pieces fall down, sometimes they can help you out. And in that case, for BB Forky, definitely helped him out. But he's going to have to start clearing out some viruses and maybe messing with Mark Foundry's board. Because Foundry here was in a tough situation, but he was able to get out of it right there. Getting a blue one to fall on top of a red. Yeah, a, uh, red. Not much of a problem here. Just going to be able to combo that one out. Mark Foundry here down to all of three viruses left to go. Got the one red one buried, but not super buried. You just need a red, the uh, yellow one to get things cleared in. And this one here could have set himself up for a double in a different way, but no matter, Mark Foundry takes the series or the set. Three games to none. So that's one set down for Mark Foundry. One more set, and he'll be moving on. So now the pill's falling into place once again. Nice help there for Mark Foundry as BB Forky tries to get himself set up with some combos. Unfortunately, got a blue one to fall on top of a stack of three reds on top of a yellow virus, and that's kind of high, so he's going to have to work on that in maybe a creative way a little bit later on. Looks like he maybe was trying to set that, yellow, that blue and red pill somewhere else. may 
have to get a little creative with how he clears that yellow pill. Unfortunately, BB, uh, rather, Mark Foundry is a little bit of a, having an issue as well. I hear the sound of a Raikou Rider coming in to join us. Hello, I'm sorry I'm late. This is Raikou Rider. And uh, I'll be here for both Dr. Mario and Tetris. Try the veal. That's... I'm just looking forward to seeing all these tournaments again. All these tournaments were really exciting to participate in, and I'm glad they got the coverage that they did this year. Yeah, and we see Mark Foundry setting up with a combo here, so uh, we are one. We are in set number two of this best of three sets here between Mark Foundry and BB Forky, and right now, nine viruses to eight. This one's close. Now, especially in these kinds of situations, although speed is very valuable, a disruption is valuable as well, and the garbage in uh, Dr. Mario tends to balance itself in such a way. Nice triple by uh, Mark Foundry there, uh, putting uh, quite a bit of garbage on Forky's side. Now, you do need to balance speed uh, as well as disruption, because every time you make a combo, it does slow your opponent down, but it can slow you down as well if you're trying to set up too many combos instead of just go for speed. Yeah, that definitely is the case, and sometimes it can really bite you. Uh, it looks like BB Forky's trying to get that blue virus unearthed. And right now, more viruses left here for Mark Foundry. He can get himself, uh, maybe possible another devil coming up here to wrap things up in this round, or in this uh, level. He apps not to do it. He gets the red one to come down now, though. And when you're in these kinds of situations where you only have a couple of viruses left, you really want to focus on speed. Uh, Mark Foundry taking the first set against uh, BB Forky in this winner's finals match. So he wins game one of this next set here, and now two more, and he'll be moving on to the winner to the uh, finals. Now, early on in matches are when combos become more valuable. Just because if you set up a combo and it happens to fall in a space that's very high in the well, it can be a struggle to get some of the pills in position to be able to even deal with the garbage, and you can wind up with uh, either some very messy play fields or even a top out on your opponent's side. A uh, pretty disgusting triple on uh, Forky that really is going to make a life a bit difficult on Mark Foundry's end. Dealing with it pretty nicely, though. Yeah, he kind of needs to go ahead and set up some of these combos in order to get himself back into this because uh, just really a lot of trash right now for Mark Foundry. BB Borky is able to start setting up some plays. And, and that's. What make... I'm sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, and what that's one of the things here is while you're disrupting your opponent, they have to clean up their mess. That allows you to set up more combos. If you fall, if you fall behind, it can be extremely difficult to recover. And uh, high levels of play, such as what we're seeing here, uh, you'll often see one player fall uh, very far behind on the board to the point where, um, even being behind just three or four viruses, uh, even at these settings, can be uh, pretty difficult to recover. And if you've watched people uh, play on higher levels, uh, we had a couple of uh, just pickup matches. Uh, before and after the tournament, where there were a couple of players playing on higher settings, like 10 or even 15, and the strategy changes quite a bit at higher levels. Well, you have less room for error with the higher levels, with the extra viruses, and, you know, a mistake there, or a bad set of plays, and you are in a lot of hurt really fast. Absolutely fantastic foresight with that triple on Mark Foundry's end. Yeah, uh, one of the things you have to be very cognizant of in this game, compared to even other puzzle games, is not only does speed matter, but the more important skill is foresight. Uh, mistakes are very difficult to fix in a timely fashion, or even at all in Dr. Mario, so even one... One misplaced pill can take an extremely long time to fix, and that is time that uh, you often don't have time to fix, especially when both players are extremely talented. Yeah, and look how fast he bounced back from the junk that BB Forky was sending him to win that match. So 
but and now... And often besides the beginning of the game, uh, as you you saw a beautiful display up on Mark Foundry's end, uh, is pill efficiency. Oh, definitely. And right now we push BB Borky into a situation where he has to win the next three here to force another set, and even there, he's not out of the woods yet. That's right, this is match point. Uh, but uh, Forky is doing quite a good job of uh, drowning Mark Foundry in garbage here. Oh, that's a nice squad junk right there that fell on top. But he did get a little bit of help. Uh, the most common ways you see a uh, quadruple junk put up is if you see t if you get two doubles in rapid succession. Uh, four chains at high level play are extremely rare because the amount of time it takes to set them up are generally not worth the trouble, especially considering that uh, your opponent can just make a quick combo such as the one Mark Foundry just made uh, to disrupt any sort of setup you may have going. And that comes back to that uh, the uh, disruption versus speed balance. And from what we saw at the tournament, uh, these high-level players uh, seem to value speed more than disruption, and that seemed to work. And there was a nice triple right there for Mark Foundry, who ended up uh, maybe disrupting BB Borky's rhythm, and now already has a four-virus lead with, uh, as you mentioned, this is match point. And, e and even so, the virus count isn't always an indicator of who's in the lead. We've seen some matches. There were some matches earlier in the tournament uh, that were dis that were dis where a, a player came back from six, seven viruses behind just because the player who had one or two viruses left had an extremely ugly play field like what BB Quirky is going through right now. I mean, Mark Foundry's play field isn't exactly the cleanest right now, but it looks a lot more playable than the uh, 4Ks right now. Yeah, it looks like he tried to set up him a yellow pill so he can knock down that pile there on the top. Ended up missing just a little bit, but he got it that time. And we see BB Forky taking the lead in viruses, but I don't like the way that blue virus is set up there in the bottom right corner for BB Forky. That's the kind of uh, foresight that you need to be able to play this game at a high level. Is play is the best players in this game will have the foresight to prevent and such a messy play field from occurring. Here's match. And with that win, uh, Mark Foundry will advance to grand finals. Yeah, that was a 6 nothing sweep.